Hi everybody, this is Chris, and I just wanted to do a very quick video to show you how to type Chinese on a Mac. First of all, you go to the Apple icon in the top left hand corner of the screen, and then you click System Preferences. Then you click on Keyboard, and then Input Sources. So at the moment you can see I've only got one keyboard, which is an English, actually British keyboard. And then if you want to add a new one, you press the plus button at the bottom of the window. And then you scroll down to find the language that you're looking for. So Chinese Simplified is simplified Chinese characters, which are used in mainland China, Singapore, and Malaysia. And then Chinese Traditional is traditional Chinese characters, which are used in Hong Kong, Macau, and in Taiwan and some overseas Chinese communities. So let's try adding a few keyboards. So we choose Chinese Simplified, then the one which you're probably going to want to use the most will be Pinyin Simplified. So I click Add, and then while we're at it, let's add a traditional Chinese keyboard as well. So we go down to Chinese Traditional, then we click Pinyin Traditional, or an alternative keyboard if you wish, and then Add. And then you'll probably notice that there's a flag icon has appeared in the top left hand corner of the screen. Um, the other thing we can do is we can click on shortcuts and then input sources and then we can turn on these two key combination shortcuts which we can use to switch between the keyboards which makes things a bit quicker. Okay, so once we've turned those on, you can see that to select the previous input source we use command and then space and to select the next source in the input menu will be Command, Shift, and Space. Okay, so let's give it a go. So we open up a document, and then we can click on the flag icon in the top right-hand corner of the screen. First of all, let's choose Pinyin Simplified. And then we try typing something. Okay, and then you'll notice that the characters are coming up, and I choose the character I want using the number next to the character. Okay, so if we were to switch to the traditional Chinese characters, we click on the flag icon again when we can choose Pinyin Traditional. Type the same thing. Then I press the one key to enter it. Okay, and then if we were to use the key combinations, the shortcuts, then we press command and space, and then I'm still holding down the command key, and then I can actually press up and down on the arrow keys on the keyboard to choose between the different keyboards. And then also to return to the previous keyboard, you press command, shift, and space. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you found this useful. For more of my Chinese learning videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my website as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.